What brings you into the weapons house? I'm the Avatar, and I've come to arm myself. So you are. Lord British sent word that you are here and said that you're welcome to whatever you want. Say, I don't want to speak out of turn, you being the Avatar and all, but would you like a few tips on fighting and training? You know, just to sharpen your skills. Yeah, I'd like to hear some tips. Alright then, would you like to hear about training, weapons, or armor? I want to hear about weapons. Oh, there are all manner of weapons out there. Some people like mass weapons, maces and things like that. Others prefer ranged weapons, you know, longbows and warbows. Personally, I like swords. There are a variety of sword types out there, but I prefer the plain old broadsword. I also advise that you pick up a bow of some sort. You might start with a novice bow or a longbow. Sometimes your enemy won't be at close range, and you need a projectile weapon. What about armor? There's a wide variety of armor that you can get, everything from leather to plate. The leather armor is probably the weakest. From there you've got bone, chainmail, and then of course, plate. A full harness of plate is the best protection that you can get, unless you find some magic stuff, but it's expensive. I've got to go. Goodbye. All right then, goodbye. So, you have arrived at last. My name is Hennington. I'm Lord British's Seneschal. I run his daily affairs. He has been expecting you for quite some time. You should go find him right away. He needs to talk to you. It's very important. All right. Farewell. Yes, yes. Goodbye. You're the Avatar, aren't you? We've all been looking for you. Lord British has been most upset, so you'd better find him. But do take some food with you. You'll need to keep your strength up. Keep my strength up? Oh yes. Food will help keep you strong and make you heal faster, you know. We can't have you going weak from hunger. What's wrong with Lord British? Oh, it's been horrible here in Britain. The people are all mean to one another and no one cares. Lord British wants to make things right, but he doesn't know how. Thank you. Farewell. Avatar, it is you at long last. I sent word seeming ages ago and have awaited your arrival day and night, and now you're here. Welcome back to Britannia, Avatar. Sadly, I fear that I have little to offer you, but what I have is yours. I tell you truly, Avatar, trouble, very serious trouble is afoot in our land. And we need your help if Britannia is to survive in peace and security. What evil has been unleashed in Britannia? I'm not entirely sure. Giant columns have sprung from the ground. My advisors tell me that there is sickness in many areas, poverty in others, and that strife is spreading. I am told that the people have grown discontented with my rule. Yet, I know not what to do. I fear that only you can solve the mystery of this pernicious darkness, Avatar. I know that I have asked much of you over the years, but we need you now more than ever. Will you dedicate yourself to our survival? 
On my word. Thank you, Avatar. You have truly given this land a hope for survival. I suggest that you first go to the Dungeon Despise. It is located just northeast of Britain. It is easy to find. Just look for the great column that reaches into the sky. The entrance to Despise is next to the column. Are you in need of more detailed instructions? Or do you think that will suffice? No, thank you. I'll be able to find it. Very well. Still, let me give you this map. It is certain to help you in your journeys. Within the dungeon, you will find one of these columns, and with it, perhaps some answers. Of course, you're free to take any supplies that you find here in my castle. In fact, I have had a room upstairs prepared for you should you wish to use it. There is even some money there. Take it and use it to buy supplies or whatever you may need in town. I will do anything that I can to aid you in your quest. May all of the virtues be with you, my son. To greet the Avatar, and welcome him back to Britannia. I'm sorry, who are you again? To be Vasagralum of the Gargoyles. To be honored to meet you, yet to still be very saddened over my plight. What's wrong, Vasagralum? To have many bad things happen. To have witnessed pride swell in the Gargoyle race. To have argued with other Gargoyles when they separated themselves by building the dome. To have been banished by my own people. To even have had our Codex Lens stolen from us. Why were you banished? How were you banished? To know that my people have lost respect for their traditions since the columns appeared. To have seen my people become consumed with pride and have disagreed with them over the building of a giant dome over Ambrosia. Finally, to have had the people send myself and my servant Despot into exile to be greatly saddened by events, but to persevere. This is terrible news. To agree with you, Avatar, but to hope that things will get better for the Gargoyle people. I must be going. Farewell. Hello, sir. What is your name? Siona. I'm a musician here in Lord British's court. Lord British has always been a music lover. May I ask you for some information? I'll be happy to help, but I'm afraid that unless you have a musical question, I won't be of much help. I take it that you're quite a music lover. Oh, yes. Music is very powerful and can accomplish some unexpected things. Goodbye. Goodbye.
keep to yourself now. <laughs> Hello, citizen. Greetings, sir. Please forgive my outburst, but so much tragedy has befallen my family. Our son has gone away, and we haven't heard from him. Now the rest of us are in desperate need of serpent wine, but there is none available. What are we going to do? I fear that we're all doomed. I'm sorry that there is nothing that I can do for you right now, but I will see if I can find some serpent wine. Thank you, kind sir. Thank you. see the daily operations here at the cathedral. I've not seen this place before. Is it new? No, it is not terribly new. We established the cathedral shortly after Empath Abbey was destroyed. Britain, being the city of compassion, was the logical place. As you can see, Britain has been prospering. We are fortunate that we have seen the errors of our ways. We have seen that by extending hospitality to the poor, sick, and wretched, we were committing a grievous wrong to the community as a whole. Goodbye, brother.
in Magnificent of speech. My policy, Wouldn't you say, friend? You look like you're new in town. My name's ball. Leon. I'm the local boyer. You ever need archery tackle, you come see old Leon. Farewell, friend. Hello, friend. Wasn't that a wonderful speech? I'd like to stay and chat, but I must get back to my shop. Should you need any provisions, come by and see me. Go bravely. Hello, friend. If you need supplies, please come by my shop. How inspiring. Isn't the mayor a wise and goodly man? I'm telling you, he's one of the decent people in this city. What is your name, my lady? Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Marjorie. I'm a street sweeper here in Britain. Why is the mayor wise and goodly? <laughs> You're obviously not from around here, are you? The mayor saved the city by getting rid of all the freeloaders and the invalids. Goodbye. Hmm. Oh, yes. Goodbye. Nice meeting you. Greetings, my good fellow. Uh, I say, you look most familiar. Ah, uh, wait a moment. You are the Avatar, aren't you? Yes, you are the Avatar. I've seen your face on the tapestry. Welcome to Britain, Avatar. I am Aiden, the mayor. Uh, tell me, how do you like our fair town now that we've gotten rid of the poor wretches who used to fill the streets? Very well, Mayor. May I ask for your help? Well, of course, Avatar. What may I help you with? I'm in need of supplies. Where might I go? Well, let's see. We have all kinds of merchants here in Britain. Uh, we have an outfitter, a boyer, a smith, and, uh, well, um, all manner of things. I recommend that you just explore the city a bit. It's a fine place to stroll, uh, now that the streets have been cleared up. Who are these poor wretches you referred to earlier? Why, the weak and the sick and the others that were filling up the streets. We had no choice but to get rid of them. Uh, they were choking the life out of the city. Uh, Paws was the perfect place for them. Why do you send them to Paws? Uh, well, Paws is close to Britain, so we can easily send food, uh, medicine and, and other help without having them here in the city. Farewell, Aiden. Go bravely, Avatar, and know that you are always welcome in Britain. Everybody in town I ever got on within ten feet of Alina knows that. Who is Alina? She's a curator of the museum. Ask her about the ruins, and she'll tell you more than you ever wanted to know. Yeah, but she'll also tell you how the world has become evil and corrupt. Are you familiar with the mayor? Fine chap, enlightened man, full of insight. Sending the poor to pause was his idea. Pause? Aye! Pause! The little village to the west of town. If you're traveling that way, watch for bandits. I hear they're camping out in those parts. I must be on my way. Farewell. See you around, Avatar.
Thanks. What do you want? Make it quick. I haven't got all day. What is your name, my lady? My name's Dawn, and I'm not your lady. Goodbye. Avatar? Oh my goodness, you are! Why, you look just like the tapestry. I can't believe it, you're here. If you can't find the lost runes, no one can. What have you got in the museum? Oh, there are many interesting pieces in the museum. Why don't you go and have a look around? I need some information. Certainly. What can I help you with? What's going wrong here in Britain? It's because of the mayor. He says that it's the compassionate thing to do. But I think that he's lost his mind. My own poor husband got sent away just because he was blind. Now I ask you, is that compassion? Goodbye. Farewell. me. Oh, Avatar, is that you? Oh boy, oh boy! Avatar, my name is Avidius, and I'm your biggest fan. You're so, so wonderful, and and I've followed your career, and say, you're not going to tell anyone I'm here, are you? You, you, you can't. You just can't. I've wandered down here, and, and, and they'll kick me out of town. Oh, please, keep my secret. Please, please, please! Goodbye, Avatar. Goodbye.
to get caught it off the pause. Disperse now. Keep moving. Greetings, Avatar. I am Sarah, the Keeper of the Shrine. What's left of it, at least. Surely you have been sent here to put things right. What do you mean, put things right? Oh, Avatar, surely you have seen how Britain has been corrupted. What was once the City of Compassion has become a den of ruthless, selfish people. And Britain is not alone. All over Britannia, the virtues and the people who once followed them have been perverted. Why is Britain so lacking in compassion? I am not sure of the cause, but I know one thing. The city lost its virtue when the shrine became corrupted. These occurrences cannot be a coincidence. I feel certain that if the shrine is cleansed, the city will return to its virtue. Do you know what caused all of this? No, sadly I do not. I know that there was a definite chain of events that preceded the corruption. It began with the columns, then the sigil of compassion disappeared, the runes disappeared, the shrine became corrupt, and finally Britain lost its compassion. What is a sigil? A sigil is the embodiment of a virtue. Each of the shrines has a corresponding sigil. The sigil of compassion was kept in the city, but went missing just prior to the corruption of the shrine. If you can find the sigil, Avatar, I am certain that it will help you to cleanse the shrine. Goodbye, Sarah. Oh, I almost forgot. To get to the shrine, or whatever is left of it, just take this road a little farther to the east and follow the path into the mountains. Goodbye, Avatar. May the virtues guide you. Here! <laughs> 
Avatar, we need to sp I am glad you are here, Avatar. I need your help. Lord British had four new lighthouses built. This one and three others in Moonglow, Buccaneer's Den, and Trinsic. The magic gemstones that were to be used as lenses for the other three lighthouses never arrived. I expect that they may be scattered across Britannia by now. Without the lighthouses, we are having more shipwrecks than ever before. I need you to recover the unpolished ruby, sapphire, and emerald gemstones and take them to the gem cutter in Britain so that he can finish polishing them. Then, they need to be placed within the lighthouses themselves to activate them. I urge you, friend Avatar, be quick, for we are losing more ships every day. I will do as you ask. Farewell. Thank you, Avatar. Avatar, we need to speak.
So good to see you. Oh, I wish that Yolo were here. I hope all is well with you. Britain seems to have changed. They're sending the sick people to pause. Yes, but it's all for the best, really. Can you tell me anything about the columns? I'm afraid that I don't know much about them. I do think that they're evil, though. There's something about them, and it's not good. The fact that it's so near despise is a clear indication to me that it's malevolent. What's it like inside despise these days? Well, I haven't been down there in ages, but I suspect that it hasn't changed too much. Despise has always been full of unpleasant monsters, but nothing too terrible. You'll run into a few giant spiders and whatnot, but I certainly don't think that you'll find any demons down there. Goodbye, Gwenno. Goodbye, Avatar. Ah, Avatar! On your way to the Dungeon of Despise. How did you know I was going to Despise? Well, it's just down the road a bit, and you being the Avatar, it just made sense that you'd be doing a bit of adventuring. How do I find the dungeon? Follow this path north, and seek the entrance in the mountains to the east. If you pass that infernal column, you've gone too far. Farewell.
Avatar. It is I, Shamano. I'm glad to see that you have returned to Britannia. I fear that I will need your help to do the same. Shamano, where are you? I've been trapped in the spirit realm. Until I'm able to return to Britannia in physical form, I have to speak to you through these stones of spirituality. You will find them throughout the land. Speaking to you in this manner is very draining, so I'll be brief. A great deal has happened since you were last here. You're probably aware of the columns that have appeared. When they first came out of the ground, I felt that there was something very sinister about them. So I undertook a spiritual quest to learn more. I learned that a magical force of great power deliberately created the columns. There are eight columns, Avatar, and they are twisting the eight sacred virtues. They have turned compassion into hatred, justice into injustice, and so on. The people of the cities that represent the virtues have been corrupted by the column's influence. It's not their fault, Avatar. They're still good people. They just need your help to restore their ways. I must leave now, my friend. The tether that binds me to this world grows threadbare. There is more that I need to tell you, but it must wait. Shamino, wait! I need to ask you some questions. We'll talk again, Avatar. Farewell.
Ha-ha!